aquí comenzamos. Sean ustedes bienvenidos. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome. It's your boy Chingo Bling. We back with another episode. I don't know what the hell this is. Solo podcast. This is live from the quarantine. We are broadcasting live. Sass. And it's good to be here, man. It's good to be back. Checking in with you guys. Damn near on the daily. Man, this quarantine been all right for me. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But let's get right into it, man. I got the homie, man. Today I'm calling up a bunch of my homeboys up. Just seeing if they're available. And, uh... Yo, we got Javi Luna from Corpus. What up, bro? What's up, man? That, that, that's not a Corona cough. Bro. Yeah, I, I, shit. I want the kind of cough you got. Cause that, that, that's, some, that's something else unrelated. I know exactly what kind of cough that is, and I, I need that kind of cough right now. <laughs> hey, hey, H-E-B ain't the only one with curbside delivery, player. You got to stock up before they lock up, man. <laughs> you know? Oh, man, you ain't never lied, bro. So there's a lot of rumors about that type of shit, right? Uh, social media, like this, uh, that, that silence for 30 days has never been more, uh, more, uh, valuable right now because people are bugging the fuck out. Oh, what, what kind of stuff are you seeing? Just like panicking, or like what do you mean exactly? Just, just no, just like real apocalypto, like this, this is it, the whole martial law stuff, like just taking it, you, you know, it's already bad, you know, but taking it to the Basi- basically, uh, the conspiracy theorists, you know? yeah, basically when people are like, man, this was their plan all along, dog, this is what they wanted. Uh, yeah, bro, I didn't, I didn't hurt it all. Yeah, they're going to put the RFID chip in the, in the vaccine, and that's, you know, and all that. It, it's the Y2K, man, you know, and, and you know. <laughs> You know, Apple, man, you, you can't take the battery out. And, you know, they, you know, they, they spraying the chem. Tra- <laughs> Some of that shit, I don't know. Man, th- this is uh, this is conspiracy theory Super Bowl right now, man. They've been, <laughs> they've been waiting their whole life for something like this to pop off. So, Yeah, the, the messed up thing is that the messed up thing is that, like, some of these theories or whatever, it's not that helpful right now because it just adds to the misinformation, uh, disinformation. And I, I've heard that it's an information problem disguised as a health problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. there's, there's not enough info being exchanged properly, communicated properly to where it's starting to kind of cost, cost us. Right. Yeah. So how y'all holding up over there, man? Uh, I, I saw on Instagram... Uh, you had a good father-son moment, man. Um, it, it really, like, you know, touched the emotional strings because, you know, I feel like, you know, right now the way we're all adjusting and adapting, we're going to stumble across those cool moments. And I, I saw you posted that um, your son had a project. You set him up in the garage, and you had, like, some old school, like some classic rock or something playing. And, yeah, and that, that, was, that was his playlist. But, yeah, uh, he, he's really into, like, some, some, like, 90s, like, Alt rock, Green Day, stuff like that, right now, and that's stuff I listened to growing up. So yeah, we're bonding a little bit over that. But, uh, oh, I bet, I bet that I can only imagine like listening to the same stuff you were listening to around the same age. That's yeah. pretty trippy. Yeah, it d- definitely is. So, so uh, and then he's uh, he's definitely got an artistic soul to him. I grew up in the arts. You know, I went to a fine arts academy growing up. So. Uh, so to see him get to see him actually, you know, get to work like like at first he was a little reluctant. He's like, uh, I have to do it, you know. And but once he got out there and going, he was out there for like a couple of hours that night, just uh, going to town doing his thing. And and yeah, I got to capture it a little bit. I didn't want him to see me, but you know, I just yeah, it was cool that I got to capture that moment. Uh, That's badass, man. Uh, so you're staying busy. Um. I know I'm trying to like figure out. Well, for one, I'm enjoying like being able to create more content, broadcast like whenever we want. Uh, the system's almost all the way set up. You know, as you can see, man, I'm having to like, you know, I want to just be able to just call you, FaceTime. Um, it's just a whole bunch of fucking technical issues people don't give a fuck about. Right. But uh, but yeah, man, I'm glad you were you were around. I'm glad you answered. I'm glad y'all are good over there. Um, I, I think I saw you posting stuff about like. You know, people panic shopping and all. How's Corpus taking it right now? Uh, it, it's half and half, man. It, it really is like half, half. We got the people doing the hoarding and the panic shopping. It's kind of died down a little bit. 
I've been working a favor, which is like a home delivery service here for like food. But we all uh, HEB also owns Favor, so their Favor is the ones that that executes their uh, their home delivery service. Uh, so any any time you order HEB home delivery, it's a Favor runner that actually mm. brings it to you. And uh, so I've been doing that, and they put precautions in to kind of like limit contact. Like we don't we don't knock on your door and hand you the shit no more. Like it 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 put on the door. Don't even ring the door, but take a picture of it, send it to them, tell them that uh, their shit's there. They can come out and get it. And uh, yeah, it, it dude, it's it's crazy. Like I mean, that, I don't want to make this a fucking marathon. Like that's the only shit to talk about. But like it's affecting everybody's lives. So like today. Today, um, uh, Sol was making some little homemade pizza thing or with Pillsbury dough or some crazy shit for uh, like a little pizza for a penny. So it was time for dad to be P.E. coach. You know what I'm saying? So it was like at home P.E. And I'm trying to like teach her, she, you know, she's only like not she's not even two yet. So it's like she's not going to get the rules of. So I don't even know the rules of soccer. I suck at soccer like this. <laughs> I suck at P.E. But uh, but right now, a lot of the dads, man, we're having to. um be you know pe coach and uh my oldest daughter she's with her mom but uh but i'm thinking like damn mickey was here man we could work on that jump shot like play catch like at least you know for an hour like pe yeah exactly so, so something something active right and that's cool i mean that's the cool enough i've seen a lot of kids this week out on like bikes and stuff it's what yeah, the fuck see before and they shouldn't be they shouldn't be right but at the same time i was like well, fuck, at least they're on their fucking bike now. Like, you picked the wrong time, kid, to decide to, like, ride. Like, I saw a kid riding his bike to the corner store to get some, like, some, some Cheetos and stuff. Like, that was shit I used to do as a kid. I was like, that's, I've never seen in years. It's been years. Like, <clears throat> maybe, maybe like, still in the hood, you might still see something like that. Maybe. But I don't even think there. You know, most people these days are like, no, nah, my kid's not going anywhere without me. Like, it's just, so... Yeah, it's almost like family values are kind of having to come back because it's just like it's you and your immediate family. It's your family unit. Um, you know, you, you're going through this shit together. But I mean, there's always been tragedies and crisis. You know, there's been like hurricanes and earthquakes, whatever. But right. this is kind of like, nah, dog, like you can't go nowhere. Like you got to just um, like my dad's birthday's tomorrow. Um, my nephew's daughter's birthday's tomorrow. We're going to do like drive by birthday, like. Beep, beep, bye, like a little parade. All right, happy birthday. <laughs> right. uh, I'm going to FaceTime you later. <laughs> See you later, yeah. Yeah, it was weird. I mean, and it's the, the weird thing about this is because is we got to be on the road like the last few weeks is to see the progression, right? Like some people started panicking about this a month ago. Like I knew people back in February that were like on every news article and were freaking the fuck out. And then, like, as the weeks went on, like, a little bit more and more people kind of, like, started jumping, you know, jumping on the wagon. Like, okay, yeah, this is, okay, this is real. This is, like, not a, on that, it's not a drill type shit. And, uh, and like, so a few weeks ago for my brother's birthday, well, my, sorry, my son's birthday, I invited my brother, and he was, like, we were going to go to Dave and Buster's. And he was, like, yeah, man, I'm not really not going out anywhere like that right now. Like, and this was, this was back at the beginning of March, you know? Yeah, yeah, dude. Like we just did Naples together. We just did Phoenix together and Naples where it was when like we landed in Miami the day before Sol and I, and, um, we, uh, by then like the shit was already like really in the news. Like we were already talking to the club in terms of like, Hey, what precautions are y'all taking? And like, are we expecting any cancellations, stuff like that? Um, but Naples, you know, they were soldiers, and that's when I was hearing about all the cruise ships, how, you know, they dock in Miami. And a lot of the um, headquarters for a lot of these cruise ship companies are based out of Miami. And, uh, yeah, exactly. And, and then it's the beach. So now what we're seeing is, like, it's, like, shut down Florida. It's, like, motherfuckers is at the beach. L.A., too. A lot of people were, like, out. I think now they're stricter in L.A., but... um. The beaches in Florida were packed up until like yesterday, and then you and I we did uh, uh Phoenix along with uh his, yeah along with Jesus Sepulveda yeah. we did Phoenix and then Midnight was yeah. with us in Florida, but uh Phoenix is more recent. That was like what a week? How long ago was that, bro? That that was just uh that was just a week ago. That was the, uh well a little more than a week ago. 
Yeah. It was all good just a week ago. Right, the difference between how many more people started to panic and at what level they were panicking, because we did Naples on Sunday, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and then you were, I was still able, like I did a little kind of joke about it, and and people kind of laughed, whatever. And then we did Phoenix that Friday. That was just five days later, and you couldn't bring it up on stage without just bringing the energy in the room. All the way down. Yeah, p- people were a little bit more on edge because, like, I was still going to the gym when we were staying in Phoenix. They had a uh, a gym right there at the hotel, and um, I mean, it 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 was actually like, it wasn't a a hotel gym. It was an actual big gym, like a big chain or whatever. It was e- EOS e e o s, and they have a partnership with the hotel, and it's like right next door. You just open the lobby, and bam, and you just show your room key or whatever. So it was pretty packed. I didn't go to the gym that time. That was yeah, so I, I, I was... <laughs> you was working on your man bun. I, uh, I yeah, see yeah, you, yeah. Pimpin'. You, you, see, you see, I got the samurai knot. That's my apocalypse samurai knot. Right there, I decided, I decided we make sure that I'm going to be a samurai from here on out. Hey, uh, I fucks with it. I saw it on Instagram. I was like, yeah, man. <laughs> Like now's the time. Like me, like okay, like I actually trimmed my beard the other day, but I was like, fuck, man, I could have had a little quarantine beard or something like... But my shit be growing fucked up. I don't really know how to take care of it. And then you got to, like, shape it. And right now, you can't really go <laughs> to my bar. Hey, man, my barber keeps texting me, like, hey, dog, cut. I'm like, hey, dog, you're going to be standing too close to me, player. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just going to go right out for a little bit, see what happens. Yeah, uh, I don't really grow much hair on top of my head anymore. So uh, I know real cold that. Fuck it. It's basically pick, man. My hair was already, I, I, I wasn't trying to grow it out, but it had already kind of gotten longer than I wanted it to be. And then it was like, okay, so do I want to go go right now to a barber shop and get have someone cut me, or do I just want to clip it up myself and just rock the like outcry in the body old head shave look? <laughs> hey, look like you selling them books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Like no one trained it up off. You just took the clippers. So the yeah, the, the M M&M M dudes, the banana bread guys. They always <laughs> have that tennis that tennis ball buzz cut going on and I was like I could rock that because I wasn't going to go down to the skin for sure the most I would do is maybe like a two like all the way around yeah no nah, no nah, man grow you know you, you know you got to have your shit looking luxurious dog <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying it's going to be flowing yeah you know, yeah when I come back. have some locks so yeah man um uh, God willing, bro, everything, you know, clears up and we can uh, get back on the road. I know people are hungry for a laugh. People are anxious to get out of the house. So I already anticipate that when everybody has the green light and we're we're like on the other side, how some of these other countries are kind of starting to come out of it. Um, and of course, we always hope that we're we're I, I know we're going to be more ready for the next time. And even if there's a next wave of the same thing, so many more people going to build up immunity and. We're just going to have more information, more tools, more human ingenuity. But when it's time to relaunch, like the going viral tour, I already know, bro, it's going to be like another reason is because we all have more time to make more content. So like we're going to go viral. You know, we're going to be TikToking and Instagramming and podcasting and, and, and writing books. And, you know, today I was like, yo, we should do a, a children's book, like a Cleto children's book like that teaches about like self-esteem and like, you know, like. Like believing in yourself, like whatever the the story may be. That's awesome. I yeah, mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I had a, yeah, a, a clap on Penny or something like that. That one where, you know, so like that. We could we could work something out like that. I'm 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 working. I've been wanting to do a children's book for if anything, just a vanity project for my own kids about my my two, about my middle one Louie and the, and, the, and my little girl Lindsay. Uh, it's kind of a story about, uh, you know, it's it's more about uh, being half brother, half sister, and and like they only get to see each other on the weekends. Oh have, man, like, strong bond, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Man, don't tell too many people that idea. Um, <laughs> knock it out. Uh, let's m- <laughs> yeah, let's make it happen. Knock it out. Uh, do your thing, and um, because I'll buy my fir- I'll buy the first copy because. Yeah. That's how my, my, my daughters, you know, their sisters, different moms. Uh, I mean, they don't really see each other as like half sister, nothing like that. But, yeah, you right. know, we don't use that word either. Yeah, of course not. And, um, you know, but Mickey's not here right now. She's with her mom. So, yeah. you know, it's that whole thing, like two birthdays, you know, two Christmas, whatever. Um, mm-hmm. 
but yeah, man, um, g- good to see you, man. Good to uh, get you on this broadcast. I don't know what we're gonna call this, but you and I actually, t- you and I actually talked about it in Phoenix. We were high as shit, and he was like, "Yo, Javi was like, yo, you with with the little machine with the sound effects, like it's a wrap." And I was like, "Yeah, dog. Like I, I miss the college radio shit. I just miss, you know. I just, I don't know, you know. So we're gonna, we're. I know. You can tell you were, you were, I listened to the solo cast. You can tell you're having fun on there. Thank you, brother. Well, look, uh, I'm having to do all this fucking <laughs> uh, fucking technical ropey dope loop de loop holding up speakers and shit. But next time I call you, man, we're going to have you patched in beautifully with good Wi-Fi and, and the system's going to be all lined up to where it'll just all the audio is running together. I'm not having to do this. Right shit. Well, shit, man. Good talking to you. And uh, I'm going to check in on you ASAP. And uh, like I said, looking forward to hitting the road, going to all these cities that we were already scheduled to be on. Uh, but, you know, the Rona wasn't having it. Hey, we're going to come hungry, but you can hit them even harder, man. That's it. Uh, all that, Man, I, I almost want to just, like, leak a lot of my old material and just fucking dive into the new shit. But, There's you know. There's going to be so much on the table, and we're going to go deep with it, man. Like, like there's just so much to talk about. If you were running out of material as a comedian before, you don't want to go. The world open, a whole new world to write about, man. The, the impossible has happened. You know? Yeah, and and the stakes are higher. I think like I've heard someone describe it like people are are reminded of like our mortality. Like you know, make the most out of this lifetime. You know, until you come back and regenerate into something else or or whatever you believe in. But um, like whatever this is, a simulation, whatever, whoever, whatever creator you pray to. Um, you know, humans got comfy. We got spoiled. Now everybody's in the pinta. Everybody's in lockdown. Everybody's on house arrest. Everybody's doing burpees. And um, I know me personally, man. Like I've really like reassessed like just direction of the career and just life and just you know being a dad and just not 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 going deep and just okay, bro. It's only been six days, but but just really thinking like, yo. What's what's the legacy? Like, yo, what's you know what I mean? Like um time management, like discipline, habits, night routine. Like we waking up early, thirty minutes before the suckers, you know, we getting up, making it happen. Right. Well like I was saying I was saying in that group text that we had, you know, the thing is this is such a monumentous event, right? It is and if you look at historically, great art movements spawn out of out of stuff like this. You know, Bob Bill came out of the Great Depression post World War One. You know, you know, uh, uh, the the Renaissance after the Dark Ages. That's where we're at right now as artists, as people that create content. All this people trying to figure out like how to how to do their craft virtually. Like if we're gonna get to contribute to this history. I think that when when you know, 100 years from now, 50 years from now, and they look back at this, this is gonna be the beginning of of, of maybe like a second Renaissance. Whatever. The, I wonder what they're fucking gonna call this because I think a lot's gonna change in the way the entertainment's delivered because of what's happening right now. Yeah, like, like for example, um, it. I don't want to use these words like because it could get misconstrued, but like it evened out a lot of playing fields. Like, um, like even though I'm being ghetto and I'm having to FaceTime you and I'm holding up a speaker and this and that, shit, uh, what's her name? Uh, Ellen DeGeneres, she literally just says, hey, film me. I'm about to sit on the couch and FaceTime Michelle Obama or whoever. And uh, she don't even show her face. She don't even hold up the thing to the, to the, there's no webcam. There's no lights. There's no like system with logos and call now. You know what I mean? It's just literally like uh, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon. Have you seen that shit? Yeah, I, I, I've heard about it. I haven't got a chance to, to sit down and watch it, but, uh, but someone was telling me, yeah, that he went live from his porch or something like that. Right? Yeah. So like Jimmy Fallon, he'll, he did the monologue, the opening monologue with the little jokes from his porch and oh man he's having to press like a laugh track on the ipad (laughs) and that in itself made it funny but it wasn't like stand-up monologue funny you you know there's just Mm -hmm. there's nobody there to applause and you're not wearing a suit and you're not under all the lights you're just human and then you see like uh he's on facetime with like jennifer garner or somebody uh, doing an interview and they're like about to play instruments and they're talking about charity and then the kid is like hey dad can you help me set up the thing he's like uh give me five uh just need five minutes and um, like, I, like in a minute, I gotta go, you know, have dinner with the fam and all that. And um, it's just like, it just, 
I don't even know what words to use, man, but it, it just totally did a whole readjustment on the world and on, you know, technology. I know is going to play a big role in that renaissance that you're talking about. Like, like I'm excited. Uh, we've been talking about trying to get like the Texas comics scene, especially like on the Latino side or whatever. Um, but just in general, you know, you know, you know, even including everyone else, you know, not just Latino, but um, but just like a new wave and we've been plotting we've been w talking about it and now is now it's time to really represent because i know that richard Pryor went through a similar you know he went through an evolution when he was navigating uh you know the the casinos or whatever because i just started the audio book of the book you recommended the prior convictions oh prior convictions yeah that's amazing man. yeah i'm still like in the soup i'm still in the super beginning and um like he went deep, man. He he are off the top. I was talking about like he got molested and all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh shit. Like his family was involved in like uh I guess sex workers, man. They had like whorehouses a, a, and a brothel. His grandmother ran a, a brothel. That's yeah, they he, he was raised. Yeah, they had brothels and bars and crazy shit like that in Peoria, Illinois. Um and I can't wait to get to the part where he goes, I believe does he go to the Bay Area to like find his voice and kind of he got into that scene or something? Yeah, he went. He went to San Francisco for a while. That area. Yeah, so um, we'll see, brother. You know, it, it, exciting time. See what what kind of art we're gonna give birth to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, yeah, man. Well, yeah. shit. Uh, I'm I'm gonna let you go, man. Tell your people bye. Uh, at Javi Luna Comedy. Say what's up, yeah. dog. Yeah. At, at Javi Luna Comedy, man. Um, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Come come by. Say hello. I'm doing stuff. I watched La Bamba on my Facebook Live last night, and just uh just spit a bunch of facts about La La Bamba. Oh <laughs> man, T tell me you need to make that a thing. The watch party. Tell me when the next one is. Uh, keep killing it. Uh, I know, man. You y'all be on the lookout for Javi Luna because whew, he's doing some shit, dog. He's doing big things. Uh, he wrote and produced a web series, which was like a spoof, a parody of um, Roseanne. It's called Rosa. You can find that on YouTube. Um, he tours with us. Uh, we collaborate. He helps me with my shit. Um, shit. Uh, wrote a bunch of episodes to a web series that we need to shoot as soon as Corona's over with. Oh, yeah. um, so many projects, so many things. Um, and I already know, bro, you're going you're gonna to come out with some shit. And, and, and then all your new materials, fucking uh, killing. Oh, I know that killed man. I was thinking that today. I was like, it was going so good. Now I'm gonna have to like get back on, get the beats back and everything. Luckily, I got a lot of footage, so I'm gonna drill it into my head while we're on lockdown. Yeah, that's what's up, brother. Well, cool, man. I'm gonna let you uh, do what you do, spend time with your fam, and uh, thank you so much, brother. We'll talk to you soon. Next time, I wanna see the chongo even longer. Sass, our dog. Peace. That's my homie, man. Comedian Javi Luna representing Corpitos. In the motherfucking building. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to name this show, man, but y'all got to chime in, bro. I set up a Google Voice number so y'all can leave voicemails and, you know, you, I'll take that audio and I'll drop it in. A shout out. Maybe we'll do a dedications. Maybe we'll do like uh, you know, questions, you know, topics. Y'all can chime in. Like, man, well, how's it cracking in your, you know? Put some weed on the beat, dog. Put some weed on the beat, dog. Need to put some weed on that beat, dog. Put some weed on that beat, dog. Hit him with the 808. Hit him with the 808. Drop that 808.
mamacita, tú no ocupas filtro. Hold up, dog. Y'all thought Kumbi Kings was... <sighs> what the fuck? Who y'all thought that was? La mafia, dog? Cuando estás conmigo, yo me siento chido. I'ma get you this slice of tres leches. How you want it? Plain or with nueces. Mamacita, tú no ocupas filtro. <laughs> That's why I rap and do parodies, and I do not sing. I do comedy. Por favor, believe it. So uh, let me see how long we've been on, man. Okay, not too bad. Quick little 25 minutes, man. I'm, uh, you know, let's do a, let's do a little 30 minute. But uh, as soon as we get this phone number set up, y'all can chime in, and we could talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. Uh, right now, let me let me uh, mention some things that I would like to improve upon. Uh, want to get? I want to do some research. Um, I definitely want to be smarter after this quarantine. I want to be faster. I want to be stronger. I want to be leaner. I want to just be more skilled, um, better dad, better husband. The, you know, my relationship with my wife is already off the chain, you know, but it don't hurt to keep the honeymoon going, dog. Because what happens a lot of times is when the honeymoon days are over, that's when you get comfortable. That's where, like, communication can break down. That's where... Really, the busyness of life, I think, is a culprit in a lot of bullshit. I think the Rona has exposed has exposed how busyness and just, you know, leading a certain type of life where you're not really making time for yourself, for self-care. You're not really taking time for family values and, you know, quality time with your family, your kids, your wife. Uh, calling your parents um you know like i said on the last episode man like i was guilty of just you know always on a grind you know fuck sleep we got to get it in get it out the mud put in work you know represent grind don't stop and it's like okay what about balance what about living a life so that you still have shit to talk about in your art you know what about your parents have you called them today or you 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 know or you busy, you traveling and shit, you know, that shit happens, man, I, I know I ain't the only one that's like multitasking and shit, you got the cell phone and, oh man, I gotta just email this person real quick, oh, let me just reply to this text, and we're like, pu- we're like spread thin, we're pulled in all kinds of different directions, that's just western society, that's just civilization, that's just modernization, that's just the tech revolution, you know, we got all these gadgets, but we kind of disconnected. So, with that being said, uh, I just want to, you know, open up the conversation, man. Um, let me know what books y'all are reading. Let me know what workouts y'all are doing. I'm assuming y'all doing some kind of workout at home. Uh, I mean, you got to have a, like, oh, real good excuse to not be taking walks. Like, okay, if it's a blizzard, I mean, shit, how do you get the blood flowing? Do you, like, dance, you know, with your family? Do you play instruments? Do you pillow fight with your kids like um what are you doing to stay active let me know i know some people going extra hard some people are going to be in the best shape of their life when this shit is over some people are going to rekindle some flames some people are going to appreciate the little things you know they're not going to be tripping over traffic like hopefully it brings us together as as humans as you know as human beings as like as a species just as a people like are you still going to have a a short temper in traffic or are you going to kind of look at life different like it is what it is i'm in traffic <laughs> let me let someone into the lane fuck it you know when you're getting off an airplane are you going to like like bitch at the at the old people that's taking long to get their luggage <laughs> out of the overhead you know the slow people that's like damn man just get your fucking bag and get the fuck off the plane dog you're gonna be like that are you gonna be more calm like how many of y'all into meditation you know i'm curious man you know i know like a lot of times with machismo and raza type shit and keeping it real and being hood and i could i could damn near predict a lot of motherfuckers that don't have an open mind that aren't willing to evolve are like man that's white people shit dog i ain't doing that shit that's for white people. It's like, what? Because <laughs> it's positive? I, I'm confused. Why, why do you, what's the self, 
Why you? What was that? Self hate? What's going on? So maybe that's something we could talk about. Um, my wife and I, we want to start a Facebook group, call it like the Blings or something, and have that be like um, just a, a Facebook page. Like Javi just mentioned, he, I know he did the uh, watch uh, watch party. You know that sounds fun. Uh, I can't wait to join one of those. Uh, but my wife and I, we want to do like the Blings, and have a Facebook group and be able to. God damn, pinche fruit fly. Be able to talk about different topics, man, like relationship stuff and, you know, Q&A's live stream. I don't know. Uh, we, we don't fucking know. I know that um, our newsletter, if you go to my website, chingobling.com, you put your email. Our newsletter, I feel, is getting better. Um, this last one we, we sent out Friday. Usually go out Fridays. We rarely miss. People get mad sometimes when, when they don't go out on time. It's like, we about to press in. Calmate. But, um... Got great feedback on the last one. We put a little bit more personal touch. It had, like, some of our photos in it. You know, we li- we really sat and took the time and, like, wrote out some stuff. You know, getting information out, too, at the same time. You know, it's a newsletter. Let y'all know what's going on with us. But um, I'm enjoying these solo podcasts as well. Um, hopefully, a lot of these habits and routines and systems aren't just um, for the quarantine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to fall off. On some of the good shit. Like, I haven't jogged this much pff, in a long time. I really wasn't into jog. I mean, I'm I'm not crazy about jogging, but I do want to be outside. Uh, m- my wife and I, it's almost like a little jogging date, even though we got hef- headphones on and stuff. Like, it's something we're doing together. It's something that it doesn't hurt to improve upon, you know. It, 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 you know, you don't want to overdo it with running. Me, personally, I'm not trying to... Uh, like run every day, you just it, sometimes it eats up muscle, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying in my mouth, trying to stay swole. Um, but I, I, you know, I've been jumping rope here and there. I did like a Tabata. If you don't know what a Tabata is, it's named after the uh, the doctor scientist motherfucker that came up with it. I think it's like Japanese dude, Tabata, Tabata. Who? Have a man bun, Tabata. Yeah, Suzuki. So anyway, it's called a Tabata, right? And basically what it is, is you, let's say, let's say I'm going to do a jump rope, four minute, eight rounds Tabata. I think that's the math. So I actually have a little intervals app. I have an app where it's like a little timer and you just set the rest period and you set the work period and then you tell it how many rounds. So it'll be like 20 seconds work and it'll tell you like, go, boom, jump rope, jump rope, jump rope or sprint or... I guess you could sprint. Whatever the exercise is, kettlebell swing, burpees, and then it'll tell you, rest for 10 seconds, and then stop. And just walk in place or walk around, and then go. 20 seconds again, work, so on and so forth. Rest, work, rest, work. Um, And it ends up being a good little Tabata like that, 20 seconds and 10. Really, it only takes about four minutes. Four minutes, you get a lot of rounds in, and your heart rate goes up and down, up and down. It's good for burning fat. It's good for a lot of stuff, and it preserves muscle. Uh, I also want to get good at, like, sprinting. Like, I want to get, like, like on some track and field shit, like um, plyometrics, like different little ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. You know them track and field routines they do, the little drills, um, like agility stuff. Like, I, I'm not super athletic, but I want to be, you know. Like, if we were playing touch, uh, uh, like, not tackle, you know, flag football. Just that's you know two hand touch. That that's ain't no tackling on the sidewalk, dog. Like if we were playing that and we're in the hood and you picking teams, you probably don't want to pick me first because I'm not gonna be the fastest. I ain't got the best arm. You know I could kind of throw. I can I can kind of catch pretty good, but you know I ain't the most athletic, fastest motherfucker. So I want to do some like, you know, do my YouTube research and come out of this shit strong as shit. Just thighs, pinches, frog leap, thighs. Pinche sprinter position. Das, ta, 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 ta. Vámonos, cabrón. Cubo. Que pedo. Saz, saz. Proper form. Everything. Good stride. Uh, also, like calisthenics. I think that's how you say it. Like pull-ups and push-ups and dips and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm about to be like Jacko Willink in this bitch. I'm about to be like a Navy SEAL in this hoe. And my head is already shaved. And I got a camouflage weight vest. So you don't know what the fuck I'm about. And if I got them Oakleys on... Good morning, sir. That's what, yeah, bitch. Salute. Triple OG. 
Chingo Bling with the Big Tamarindo, executive producer with a roost. The motherfucking, the Masa Messiah, Sastradamus, El Rey del Foreplay, the Tamale Kingpin, the Ghetto Vaquero, the Versace Mariachi. All that shit, dog. R.I.P. to Cleto, man. He buried in the backyard up under the rooster statue. So y'all take care, man. It was fun checking in with y'all. I'm just, you know, we're just trying to figure this out. I don't know. But it was good talking to Javi. It's good checking in with y'all. Soon, uh, next time, man, I'm, I'm going to put the phone number on the screen and I'll, I'll shout it out. And you can leave voicemails and shout outs. And, and, and let me know, man, if you're a patron, uh, send me a comment. Let me know what kind of segments. Do you want like a shout out segment, dedications? You know, we can have fun with it, man. We could just produce the whole thing. And I'm going to call my homie Rico, too. He's in the radio game. Uh, call my homie Tino, Crisco Kid, uh, Dana Cortez, like all my radio people, Automatic, Anthony A. Just check in with everybody and be like, hey, man, what, what kind of give me some ideas for some segments and we could produce them, man. We could put the shit together. So real quick, let me shout out some patrons and I'm going to let y'all go do what you do. But if I were to believe it. So today we just got a new one, man. Appreciate the love. I'm going to message them directly. Here we go. Uh, a Greer. What up, A? Uh, what's your full name? Because I know it ain't. Oops. It ain't. God damn it. Ain't just an initial sin. Okay, welcoming them. Uh, now, let's shout some of them out real quick, man. Um, here we go. Ricky Medina. We appreciate the love. David Hernandez. You made this episode sponsor-free, commercial-free. Diego Salinas. I appreciate it. I see you have two, two little ones in your uh, profile pic. Uh, J38. Shouted you out last time. What's up? A. Greer. A. Greer just signed up today. Miriam Aguilar. Omar Zavala. Janet Snyder. Hello, my name is Janet Snyder. Appreciate it, Janet. Luis Moctezuma, what up, homie? You, I see you got your son in your in your profile as well, man. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the dads, dog. Sas. Juan Aguilar, Jay Dover. Thank you guys so much. Y'all be safe. Take care. And I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. <laughs>